a wandering Wednesday series, Unplanned, a seven-day road trip to the northwestern part of the Philippines. Southern Public Park. Alright, what up everyone? We are still here in Bagudbod and just wanted to kind of show off our little spot that we got here, a little place that we have. Um, so we're renting this place out. It's got a little nice veranda in the front and the motorcycle we're not using. I don't know, somebody just parked this from this morning. Um, if we go inside, we've got a little place here. Um, it's a bit dark in here, but we've got this little kind of bamboo couch sort of thing, a table. Sorry, the place is still kind of a mess. We just got back late last night and I just passed out. Sink and kind of kitchen area here, our own bathroom, private bedroom. Amazingly cheap. It's only about 250 for per person. So that's me and my wife. It's about 500 roughly about ten dollars. So not bad. Not bad All right, the wife is alive I'm getting breakfast starting to eat All right, today we are at the Bengi, 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 um, windmills. All right, so I'm gonna attempt to try to go closer to the water, but this place is this place is really nice, very picturesque. Um, yeah, I'm kind of at awe of how nice this place is. I'm really glad that we came at a um, sunnier day because yesterday the weather was not as good as it is today. It was just just gloomy, a bunch of wind, and couldn't really talk into our cameras. But today is it's actually a lot better. Um, we do have the chance to talk into the cameras. I hope you guys are hearing us really well. I um, hope you guys are hearing the waves too. Those just sound awesome right now. Look at all those windmills following the whole coastline. Alright, hopefully the wind isn't too bad, but we are at Kapurpuran. Kapurpurawan. Kapurpurawan. Alright, so we're on the other side of the place. formation that has everybody a buzz over here. <laughs> um, this is the little, the little trail that we're following to get there and of course still more windmills. Alright first thing of interest to see is a statue of a guy in a loincloth fighting an alligator. All right, according to that sign over there, um, this is a sculpture of Lam Ang. And Lam Ang, I guess, is a fierce warrior from a tribe who uh, fought an alligator or a crocodile. I think it says crocodile on the poem. Um, and I guess this is an ode to Lam Ang. Nice job, Lam Ang. All right, according to my wife who read the blurb, um, it's in its entirety that Lam Ang took the alligator back to the tribe, gave it to his sisters, and... And then he told his sisters to get the teeth so that it would be amulet for uh, when you travel. So I think, I guess he made it into a necklace. Again, good on you Lam Ang. <laughs> Alright, so we've made it to the other side of the rock formation where everything is white. Um, I, I wonder what kind of rock this is. Don't really know. Uh, 
I don't really know. To, we're trying to go to the other side now. All right, now we've found ourselves in sort of like a Flintstone era kind of um, platform here. It's actually pretty cool. The windmills behind us. The sea. Rock formations. Over there. And another rock formation. Rocks, water, and windmills. Oh my god, those empanadas are so good. So good. What up world? We are the Wandering Waffle Heads. We would like to hear from you. Comment below if you have questions or suggestions for us. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.